Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I would like to welcome you to Connie's Craft Along. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. If you are on here, do say hello. Let me know that you're here and watching or here and crafting or hanging out and chit-chatting or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> I uh, I love to I love to share time with you and spend time with you and uh, share crafting with you. So these are all wonderful things. Why does that look like it's live? Nope, it's old. <laughs> Just trying to find uh, find something that looks like the right picture here. There, that looks better. That looks like uh, looks like where we are, even though I don't have the little, you know, the little arrow to turn me on. Um, hmm. Okay, technology is doing a couple little odd things, but we'll we'll let it we'll let it slide for now because I think uh, I think we're okay. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Thursday, July the eleventh. Hmm. I can't believe we're almost at the middle of July already. Good grief! Sadly, the summer is going way too fast, but uh, but we have had some beautiful weather so far. We have had lots of rain recently, uh, probably wherever you are, you probably had uh, some of the rain from the, uh, uh, well, it was a storm barrel uh, and then the, the tropical rains. And anyway, we had lots of rain yesterday all day and my cottage road is flooded. Um, I haven't seen any photos since midday, but uh, there was a lot of water on the road when uh, MSH went to work this morning and he called me to to tell me that he got through but barely and was hoping the water would recede at least somewhat before he came home tonight. So I have not checked in with him yet. Hopefully he got home safely and hopefully the water is uh, receding because water all over the road is never a good thing. So anyway, hopefully uh, you are safe wherever you are. And if you had some rain, it was just a nice watering rain and not a flooding rain. Okay, on to other things. Uh, bonus days. They're on now. So shop in July and save in August. Uh, for every $60 you spend uh, in Canada. Okay, I'm talking Canada dollars here because I'm in Canada and my online store is for Canadians. I cannot sell outside of Canada. So if you are not from Canada, I'm sorry. Uh, but I can help you find another demonstrator wherever you live if you would like that. But uh, perhaps you already have one. In any case, if you are in Canada, I would love to have you shop with me. And if you do, for every $60 you spend, you will earn a $6 coupon. And you can use that in August for anything you want. And you can stack them up because this is for every $60. If you spend 120, you will get two. If you spend 180, you will get three. And you can put all three coupons onto one order. Um, one item even, as long as it's greater than, than that value. So you couldn't order uh, a $15 product and use $18 worth of coupons. So um, doesn't work that way. But uh, if you ordered a $20 product and put $18 worth of coupons on it, you would only pay $2 for that item. So how cool is that, right? <laughs> um, so that is on now. Shop by July 31st. They the coupon codes will come to you in an email. Make sure you keep that email. Do not lose it because that's the only place the codes are. And uh, you will need those to get your discount in August. So very exciting. Hello, Lorna. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to do some crafting. So uh, let's go down here. And we can get started. And, and, you know, you get used to where you are and what your setup is. So at the cottage, I have two screens. And because everything's close together, I leave them both connected when I'm doing my lives. At home, I have two screens. But because there's a bigger gap between my crafting table and my um, desk where I do my computer work, I disconnect the second screen. So now I don't have the picture of all my bits and pieces in front of my face <laughs> to work from. So we'll just kind of wing it here. 
So tonight, you need a standard card base, uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is basic beige. I don't know if you have um, used this color yet. It was new this year, and it's awesome. It's a wonderful neutral, and it really is a neutral. It goes with anything, um, even things that you might not think. It's not... It's not brown and it's not gray. So it, it goes with both of those and it just, it's wonderful. <laughs> okay, then we have a piece of patterned paper that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. And I have another piece of patterned paper that is four inches by three and one quarter. I have a three quarter inch strip of cardstock, and I didn't give you any particular length for that. Um, we will cut this one, obviously, but it, you're going to want it long enough for your uh, your sentiment. So, however, however long your sentiment is, uh, <laughs> you want your your strip to be at least that long. Um, some ribbon. Uh, I am using the, uh, what exactly is this called in English? Center Stripe Ribbon. So this is, um, does it say it's pecan pie down the middle? I know. Uh, it doesn't actually say what color this is, but I thought it went really well <laughs> with my designer series paper. So that's what we're using. And then I suggested that you could optionally add in some interest elements. And I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. <laughs> so I die cut a number of things from the Seaside Wishes uh, bundle and just have them there ready. Okay, again, uh, summertime, easy crafting. This is a quick and easy layout, but you are more than welcome to snazz it up, dress it up, do whatever you wish. We are just going to fold the uh, card base in half. Bring in some. Now this one, I am actually going to uh, build some of this on right on my card base. Often we build it um, separate from the card base and put it on near the end. However, did you see? I needed to turn that square piece of paper. Um, we're going with angles and things here, and it's not full size, so it's a little bit tricky <laughs> to build it on these pieces. You could, I suppose we could have uh, put these two pieces of patterned paper together, but I chose not to do that. So uh, this paper, this is country lace, if you are wondering. It is part of the the country something or other sweet uh there's country birdhouse and country flowers are the two bundles in that suite so there is my card stock and somewhere oh i was gonna say i got out ink and i got out um a sentiment where did they go <laughs> there they are they're still in the box i didn't get them out and I actually put my Misty Moonlight ink away. So I'll just grab that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. And I have a happy birthday sentiment. You probably cannot see that. Certainly not well. Um, it is from the Round We Go stamp set that I used yesterday. And I thought, oh, look at that. That's perfect. It's uh, long and relatively narrow and it'll fit in my three quarter inch strip. So it's perfect. Oh, I'm just going to, I, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these. I'm going to banner them, I think. So I moved it over. I'm not right at the edge. And there's our sentiment. Okay, just close this up, grab my paper snips, 
And I don't think we need quite as much as I left at this end. So we'll just trim a little bit of that off. And then I'm just going to snip in the center here. I did actually bring my punch home that I used to make my banner ends, but I forgot to unpack it for tonight. So it's down the other end of the craft studio. And since I'm not at the cottage, I can't just reach around behind me and grab it. See, there's advantages to smaller craft studios, but that's okay. That will work there. Okay, get rid of these little bits. Bring this back in, and then we're going to put this hmm, right about there. I think I'm going to tie a bow with my ribbon just so I can make sure, because I want to put this probably at the bottom. So I want to make sure I have my sentiment up high enough that, uh, oops, I can mess with that, um, up high enough so that I can, it doesn't dangle off the bottom of my card. Okay. It's going to do a lot of dangling on that one side because I have a lot of, a lot of ribbon here, but we're just going to trim some of that off. We don't need, so we don't even need quite that much, do we? Yeah, it's probably going to be too short, but it'll be fine. We'll make it work. Okay, so if I do that, there's plenty of room. We could even come down a little bit to about there. But I, of course, do not have, uh, I don't have anything sticky on my sentiment right now. So uh, we'll just kind of lay it back down there so I can kind of sort of remember where I want it. Come in here with some dimensionals. What, uh, what else do we have going on this month? Um, my card class this month is Christmas in July. So if you want to get a start on your Christmas cards, you can get my monthly card class free with a uh, $40 order. And I will send you the kit and you can join us on Zoom and we'll do some crafting together. Four cards, four Christmas cards. We will use some new uh, designer series paper that I will send you uh, in your card kit. And then uh, you can just use whatever stamps you have in your stash. Most of us have, oh, probably a couple of Christmas stamps, I would say. <laughs> Okay, uh, right down there. And then let's see what we want to do with these guys. What do we think? Something kind of sort of like that? That should work, hey? Okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna put this guy down flat. At least through the middle. So I'm gonna use uh, liquid glue on him, maybe. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There we go. Let's stick this down in here. And then I think I'm going to put, hmm, oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to glue this guy down because he's really small for trying to get a dimensional on. And we're just going to put a bit of glue in this center area. And that should be enough to hold him in place. Oops, a little, little more glue here than we want. Just drop him in there. But this one, I can probably 
hopefully, possibly, get one of these little dimensionals. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> a little tiny dimensional, the mini dimensional on him so that he can pop up. Oh, he does show a tiny bit. We'll just give him a little, little trim here. Might have been an operator error, right? I don't know where I put it. That's better. And then I think we should be able to pop up this guy as well. Get it centered right in the middle. Okay. Put this guy about there. Okay. There we go. And then uh, we just need a little bit of a little a little something something right <laughs> how about look we have these um adhesive backed solid gems so this is boho blue and this is misty moonlight but same color family and look we have nice uh nice choices for size so i'm just going to put that guy in there and I'm going to put that guy in there. I think we need one of these smaller ones. In. There, look at that. I don't know that uh, these shells have those kinds of things in them, but my card does. <laughs> and in card making, there are no rules, right? Good grief, we've got blue seashells. We can have gems in the middle of them. I think that all goes. We all know there has to be gems. So, so there you go. Quick, easy, cute. Might be a little bit hard to see the, uh, the designer series paper. After I cut it, I realized that this was the back piece. And I thought, mm, maybe not the best, but you can see it uh, when it's live. <laughs> live and in person so uh so there we go so that is uh the basic layout you can add layers to this you could make this the layer and then make your designer series paper smaller you could layer up your uh sentiment you could put a stamped image in there instead of um you know just die cuts choices are yours Okay, so I cut for a second one. And for this one, I use the Countryside Inn paper. I'm on a blue roll. Can you tell? <laughs> um, so we have a boho blue card base this time. And what I wanted to do with this. So the last time we built this, uh, the designer series paper right on the card base. And... What I wanted, but what I wanted to do this time was I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to glue this one to this one because <laughs> I'm using up scraps. So I had this in my, uh, my bin, my ribbon bin, because I had cut it for something and never used it. And so I was thinking, oh, I should put that on this card, but you have... You want to wrap this around, and I don't want to wrap it around the card base because then I'll have the the ends will show somewhere. So I want to wrap it around this designer series paper. So I'm actually going to um, put my paper together first this time. So <laughs> using was that uh, thumbs up for using up bits, Lorna? I know you were using up bits the other night, weren't you? So always a good idea or a good a good goal i guess we should say so i am going to put uh some adhesive just on the bottom of this because i know that this much will overlap hello claire welcome and then i'm going to put it right about 
there. And then uh, I think I'm going to use the same happy birthday again. I couldn't decide whether I wanted it on boho blue or on white. So I've cut both. And I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I should maybe have uh, have a round sentiment or something with this with this bow being the way it is. I don't know whether this is really going to work too well, but and then I have this little birdie guy. <laughs> maybe I could do this down low, and then my sentiment. I could put this. I could put this all the way across. And then I could put the birdie up top. Hmm. Okay. So now we're kind of, <laughs> now we're thinking. So if I put this on here and then I put my ribbon over this with that. I don't know that I like the, the cardstock under it, to be honest. To me, it looks a little, a little odd. I like the ribbon better on top of the designer series paper. So then... Maybe we would do something like this, maybe, <laughs> or this, maybe. I also was kind of wondering if I should color my bird. I didn't color him, but I still could. I left him sort of white to be like those, but even they have colored wings, so I could at least color his wing. Maybe like that. Okay, I think I'm going to put this down low-ish and we'll figure it out from there <laughs> so I am going to use a glue dot on here just to hold this in place right about and do I want it centered or do I want it off to an edge <gasps> oh oh no just go centered <laughs> because I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there and then I am going to flip this over and I'm going to put some tape runner on the back. But then I am going to turn this back this way to attach this because I want it to be straight. <laughs> and I will never get that if I'm only looking at the back. I think that's pretty straight. Okay. So there we go. And you know what? This is... Uh, a little bit lumpy, possibly a little bit difficult to um, <laughs> to get tape runner to go over. But you, I do want to use tape runner, but I think I'm just hopefully, oh my goodness, I ran some of my, uh, uh, my piece of drawer. Um, lots of dimensionals in there, but I took my tear and tape up stairs because I was working on some some 3D projects for my top sales. Oh, I have it. I have a little itty bitty bit here. This is left over from a paper pumpkin. So oh and I don't. <laughs> it's the end of the roll. Okay, well we will just uh we'll just put this tape runner over over the lumpiness. <laughs> It's lumpy because I have that knot in uh, in the bow on the other side. There we go. Okay. Make sure I have this still the right direction. Tilt this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I put this on straight, but this doesn't go straight. This goes crooked. Ah. Uh. You gotta love the angles, right? So if I do this, then I want this. I have to cut this whole thing here. I want it to go like this. Oh, I don't have tape runner over here either, do I? I think I hit something, so. Okay, I think, I think we're okay. <laughs> so this is an interesting, uh, interesting adventure. There we go. I think I might try to get uh, another glue dot under there because I did have to lift that one and I'm not sure 
it's very sticky under there. So we're just gonna stick this right under there. Hold it all in place, there we go. Glue dots to the rescue. Okay, sentiment. Uh, gonna use the same happy birthday, but I have Knight of Navy this time to sort of pick up on the Knight of Navy ribbon. Uh, <laughs> you love blue, Lona. I love blue too. This is such beautiful paper. I love it. But I like that one too. <laughs> we are just a pair of blue girls, aren't we, Lorna? Loving our blues. Okay. So if we can get this on here. Oh, I don't know what was. Oh, no, we're okay. It was just uh, the whole thing was kind of wiggling. Yes. Okay. Now. So. Uh, I had. Uh, I had some stamping blends out. I think I put them away. I leave so many things out. You would think that I would have everything out uh, so often, but I don't. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Oh, dee -do, dee -do. Boho blue. Shall we color, color our bird, at least his wing, with boho blue? It's blue. We can't go wrong, right? Uh, and I have a spare bird just in case. <laughs> So these are my Stampin' Write markers because I did have those handy. And we'll just color in his wing here to match uh, the wing of the bird on our designer series paper. It's my, my starting thought anyway. Let's see where that goes. <laughs> Hey, right. oops, kind of, kind of similar. They both have a blue wing. <laughs> and uh, do I want to do just, I might do, I might just do this on this one because then the bird can sit on there. <laughs> and maybe we should, should we? Well, I think we have room for an angle here. We'll cut it like this, and if we need to chop it square, I think I could still salvage that. Everything, uh, everything start to look crooked here. <laughs> there we go. Well, that, that might work okay. Maybe right down near the ribbon, eh? I think. That might work. We'll put it together and have a look. Okay. And when all else fails, we'll fix it with gems. Let's see. I'm put this right at the edge of the ribbon there. Try and try and try and get it straight without looking at the angles of the paper. <laughs> it's I find it so hard to put straight things onto because my eye sees that top angle and it just messes with my brain. And I don't, I can't, I don't think it's straight, but I can't even tell. So let's just do a little bit of a measure. It's about two and a half and it's, oh yeah, see this is two, just over two and a half. And this is 
just under two and a half. So it is actually high as it, it looks. It's not just the angle <laughs> of the paper. So let me come over here. I'm going to cheat this time. I'm going to put my ruler down just under two, two and a half, just under two and a half. And then I'm going to put that right there. Look at that. And that, that should be very close to straight. Straight enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, some dimensionals for the little bird. These little guys so that, ooh, I don't think we can, I don't think we can get one up his tail, but, ooh, <laughs> onto his tail. His tail is quite narrow, but that's okay. And then we're just going to put him right onto the edge of that. Here we go. And now this is gold, so we don't want silver. <laughs> and I think that we don't, I think we want something shiny though. Um, so we have these in. Some, these don't, don't seem quite as gold as what's there, although from a distance they could work. These are the uh, adhesive-backed metallic gems, and they might be they might be the goldest thing I have. I do have these. They're pretty, and they would coordinate, but I don't know that they go with that ribbon. So we'll leave those. The iridescent stuff probably isn't isn't the best choice, but this might work. Look, brand new package. I'm gonna open this up here. These are opal round assortment. So with the dark navy, they will work. And I think I think they'll be okay even though they aren't they aren't the shiny of the gold ribbon, but they're dark, so you see them. They show up really well. Okay, uh, this guy. I wonder if I should put these at the bottom. Or if we should put them everywhere. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. <laughs> could do uh could do some of these too. Hmm. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> and I oh, we've got kind of these yellowy ones too. Would they have worked? Pick up the gold. Hmm, so many choices. I'm going to do this for now. What do you think? Do we want to? Uh... Mm, no, it's pretty busy up there. I think they're better down there, right where they are. And I think I should stop now. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's any such thing as too many gems, but there is, there is busy and not, not necessarily quite right. So there you go, a second card. Uh, very similar, little bit different uh, way of putting the ribbon on, different style of ribbon, different colored papers, all that sort of stuff. So just a little variation there. I didn't do any with the layers, but uh, as I say, that's something that you could do. You could add the layers and uh, you know dress it up as much as you want. You could put another layer on your card base and then skip layers on your patterned paper and just do it plain. Um, lots of choices. And you could, of course, also, this is going to look funny, but you could do it uh, landscape as well. You might want to tilt it this way going up. Um, that's just how my eye works. My eye goes up to the, to the right, as opposed to down to the right, generally. Um, but anyway, <laughs> hello, Terry. Now I'm babbling <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can, you can decide how you like things. So 
Let me come back up here. There we go. Okay, so those are the two cards for tonight. I hope you like them. Um, I hope you are enjoying these, uh, I'll say, easy summer layouts. So it's summertime, we're kind of easy breezy, and we've got some uh, quick and easy layouts that we're, we're working our way through. So hope you like that. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you being here. And I hope that we can craft together again really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.